if you were challenged to only have one whiskey from each of the Scottish whiskey regions for the rest of your life, could you do it? Would you do it? What would they be? Would you like to see mine? I've been challenged to pick my one and only whiskey from each of the whiskey regions in Scotland. So that would be the Lowlands, the Highlands, Speyside, Campbelltown, Isla, and the unofficial, the Islands. So here we are, guys. I'm not going to mess around. Is it a tough choice? Yes. Have we got plenty of whiskey to choose from? Yes. So let's get right in, guys. So I'm going to start with the Lowlands. I'm going to cheat a little bit here, folks, and I'll tell you why, because I have about 800 bottles on my shelves, and I do not have one single bottle from the Lowlands. I know, it's crazy. We could have had Daff Mill, we could have had Bladnock, we could have lots of Lowland whiskies, but for some reason, I don't have any. So my choice for the Lowland whisky is going to be this bad boy here. We're going to Glengoyne. So I hear you saying, Alan, but that's a Highland whisky. Yes, but... The catch is, the distillery is in the Highlands, but the warehouses are in the Lowlands. So the whiskey is matured in the Lowlands. So I hope that counts. And I'm going to dive in with this beautiful teapot dram from Glen Goyne. So yes, it's wonderful. Yes, it's batch whiskey. This is the batch eight. It's been fantastic. I've had a couple of bottles of this. This this is beautiful, beautiful. Yes, you know, it's sherried whiskies. It's the teapot. I'm not going to give you any history on the teapot dram. If you want to see all about the teapot dram, I will pop a link up above to this teapot dram. Big, big sherry, big raisins, big fix, big dates, lots of dried fruit, beautiful mouthfeel, beautiful texture. Toffee, it's dark honey, it's dark toffee. Bags and bags of cooked apples, red fruits, lots of stuff going on. So much chocolate. And there's a really, really wonderful, okay, spicy note to this one again. So the first one on my list today from the Lowlands Stroke Highlands is the Glengoyne Teapot Dram. So next up, folks, we're heading to the biggest region. We're heading to Speyside. Yes, I could have picked loads of Glenallachy. Yes, I could have picked loads of Craig Ellicky. That beautiful 13's there. That beautiful 17 there could have easily been on the list. We could have went to Glen Farkless. We could have went to Speyburn. So there's lots of Speyside whiskies, but the one I've chosen to is a firm favourite. I'm going to the beautiful Ben Romack Distillery up there on Speyside. Owned by Gordon McPhail. This is the cask strength. Absolutely wonderful. Yes, it comes in batches, but they're all great. I'm loving all of them. This one here is was batch, batch 1, 2009. Cask strength, 58.8% ABV. Absolutely fantastic whiskey. Nothing about colour, nothing about chill filtering. I'd be surprised if there's any of it, but it doesn't say. But the beautiful thing for me about this whiskey and everything that Ben Romack puts out is first fill bourbon barrels and first fill sherry casks. So absolutely wonderful. This bottle in particular, I'd love to drink this for the rest of my life. It's rich, it's intense, it's complex, it's mouth coating. It's got a super, super waxy mouthfeel to it. It's got bags of red fruit. It's got loads of apples, berry fruit, all sorts of stuff. But it has that beautiful mix of honey and vanilla and toffee. And it has that wonderful, wonderful little smoky vibe all the way throughout it. So it's absolutely awesome whiskey. And I'd love to have this whiskey for the rest of my life. Well done, Ben Romack. Well done, Speyside. So, folks, the next one up, the next region, we're heading to the unofficial region, which is the islands. So I could have had Tobermory, I could have Lechig, 
I could have had Talisker, I could have Torvig, but my choice today, we're heading to the beautiful Isle of Arran. It was my first ever whiskey distillery tour, so Arran really, really has a real soft spot for me in whiskey, and I'm looking forward to sharing this. This is the wonderful Arran 18. Yes, I could have had the Arran 10, which is fantastic. Yes, I could have had the beautiful quarter cask, which is also fantastic. But look at the beautiful. There seems to be a theme coming here, guys. We've got some sherry coming out with ears here. As you know, I'm a sherry fan. 46% non-chill filtered, natural colour, beautiful 18-year-old age statement on here. So all the boxes ticked from the Isle of Arran. So this one, wow, what can I say? This is a big, big blast of sherry. First fill sherry going in, in here. Bags and bags of dark chocolate. Beautiful velvet, silky, oily, thick, creamy mouthfeel. It's got, it's nutty. It's got loads of toffee and caramel and fudgy notes going on here. Then you get into the red fruits, the red apple, the juicy plum. It's thick, it's creamy, nutty, fudgy. But at the same time, it has those beautiful, dirty, dank, donage notes that we all love. And more whiskey, it gives that little bit of an aginess, that little bit of that dirty vibe. Absolutely wonderful. So that's the my choice from the wonderful Isle of Arran. So the island choice is the wonderful Arran 18. And I would love to drink this whiskey for the rest of my life. Okay, folks, let's move on to the next region. We're now going to tackle the Highland region. We're smashing through these bottles like there's no tomorrow. I could have had uh, Old Pulteney. I could have had the Klein Lish. I could have had the beautiful Glen Cadom. I could have had the wonderful Glen Dronach. So there's lots and lots of great Highland whiskies I can choose from. I think I might be breaking some rules with this one. I'm not too sure. So I'm going to give you my pick for the Highland region. And it is going to be an independent bottler of the... It's from Signatory Vintage, and it's part of their Unchill Filtered collection, and it's from Scotland's Little Gem, the Edradour Distillery. Look how beautifully dark that whiskey is. The theme seems to be carried on, guys. We've got a big sherry theme going on here. As I can only pick one whiskey from each region... Yes, there's some smoky ones out there. Yes, there's some peaty, bourbon, all sorts of stuff going on. But I'm a sherry guy, so I'm really doing these for... If I'm picking, this is what I'm picking. So, yeah, Ed Radour, Signory Vintage, 10 years old. This one here it is a big, big blast of sherry again. First fill sherry again. It's dark, it's dank, it's dunnage, it's, it's dirty... It's bags and bags of dark chocolate and coffee. It's nutty. It's got toffee, caramel and fudgy notes going on. It's a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful mouthfeel. The dark chocolate, the coffee are incredible. As it really develops and you really sit down and spend some time with it, those beautiful orange notes come in. Orange, red apple, dark fruit, dried fruit, dank, dirty, dunnage. I'm getting excited, folks. But yes, and then it's mixed with that beautiful, dank, dunnage, dirty, mechanics overalls, mechanics workshop notes. It's such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful whiskey. And this is a whiskey I would definitely love to drink for the rest of my life from the wonderful Highland region. So we're moving on to the next region, folks. We're heading over the water to the wonderful island of Isla. I've got Campbelltown also left, and I've got Isla. How do you choose between one whiskey from Isla? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try. Is it going to be smoky? Is it going to be unpeated? Is it going to be peated? What is it going to be? Yes, I could have had Ardbeg. I could have lots of Ardbegs. There's lots of Lagavulins. There's lots of Brookladdies, Kilhoman, Kalila, the recently new distillery from Arnaho. So there's lots and lots of whiskies out there. But... As usual, I've got to pick one, and it would be a miss of me if I didn't pick this one. This might be the most predictable. We're heading to Boonahaven. Boonahaven 12, cast strength. 
Yes, it's batch variant. This one in particular I've stocked up quite a bit on. This is the 2022 Buna Habin 12 cast strength. This is the one actually I have in my glass, guys. So I'm going to have a wee sip of this one with you. I'm salivating at the thought already. I've had it covered up for a long, long time now. Let's get the coin off it. So yes, Buna Habin 12 cast strength came out in 2021. 2022, 2023, and we're now waiting for the 2024 coming out. So yes, they're batch variant, but if I could choose one whiskey to drink from Isla for the rest of my life, it would be this Boon I have in 12, Cash Strength 2022 version. It was my whiskey of the year for 2023, and it's coming in at a whopping 56.6% ABV. It's sherried, it's spicied, and it's unpeated. So, yes, sorry, Petey guys, but I'll try. I'll try somewhere. I think there may be a wee hint of smoke coming up somewhere next, but let's crack on with this one. I'm going to have a wee quick sip of this because I've been, wow, rich, so rich, fruity, spicy, sherry bomb whiskey, this one, guys. So, yeah, look again. Look at that beautiful, beautiful colour. Yes, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Let's have a quick sip, folks. Mm. Mm. Rich. Mouth coating. Powerful. Intense. Berry fruit. Red fruit. Raspberries. Strawberries. Apples. A little bit woody, it's malty, it's got bags of malty character, dark chocolate going on, so much coffee going on. It, it starts off juicy, then it becomes jammy and it gets really, really sticky. Wonderful, wonderful mixed fruits, but the same, it's not just about the mixed fruits, guys. That dirty, dank Dunnage thing is definitely all over this as well. It's a little bit fizzy, a little bit salty, Those that nutty element, loads of roasted, roasted nuts, beautiful mouthfeel. So, what can I say? Whiskey of the Year 2023. I'd love to have this Buna Habin 12 cash strength as the only whiskey from the Isla region for the rest of my life. Okay, folks, we're on to the last whiskey region of Scotland. Going to try and pick. How can you pick one whiskey from Campbelltown? It's nuts, it's crackers. Who came up with this idea? Is it going to be a Springbank? Is it going to be a Long Row? Is it going to be a Hazelburn? Is it going to be a Kilkerran? Is it going to be a, the wonderful Glen Scotia? Wonderful, wonderful stories. I think it's my favourite region of all. You can probably tell by the shelves behind me. I've got lots and lots of Campbelltown whiskey. So this was a really, really particular, particularly difficult one for me to pick out, guys. But I think I've, I think I've nailed it. I think I've, I've picked a cracker. And we're going to head, is it a spring bank? Yeah, well, it's not. It's not a spring bank. It's the wonderful, wonderful Kilkerran 16. This is another whiskey of the year for me. This is the 2022 whiskey of the year. This one is coming in at 46% ABV, natural colour, non-chill filter. This one, I do believe, I think it's 70% bourbon, 30% sherry. And I don't know if you can see up here on the shelves, guys, but I'm pretty well stopped on the Kilkerran 16. So it's up front, it's, it's lemony, it's orangey, lots and lots of citrus, a wee bit of distant smoke kicking around in there. It's tropical, it's melon, it's banana, it's apple, bags and bags of red fruit, raspberry, strawberry, chocolate, orange, but at the same time it's malty, it's very cereal, it's very biscuity, chocolate biscuits, it's cereals, it's breakfast cereal. The whole mix is going on with this world, this whiskey. The whole world, the whole nine yards is going on with this whiskey. It's everything, it's complex, it's it's tasty, it's full of flavour, it's wonderfully, wonderfully balanced, it ticks all the boxes. Kill Karen 16. That's my Campbelltown choice. That's my lineup. What do you think? Have I done okay? Dive into the comments, guys. Would any of these be on your list? Would it be here? Would it be there? That's it. All I've got to do now, guys, is...
pick a, I've got to nominate somebody else. So I'm going to nominate someone. I'm going to nominate a cracking little channel. I hope you're going to go and check them out. I'm going to nominate the wonderful Gav's Drams. So Gav, I hope you take it up. I hope you can pick out all the whiskey regions, pick your favourite from the regions. And lovely, I'd love you to share it with us, my friend. So guys, I'm going to pop Gav's description into the pop Gav's channel into the description. I'll also pop Jeff's in there and I'll pop Wade's in there as well. So please go and check them out guys. And if you've not quite subscribed to them yet, then give them a subscription. But other than that guys, I'm Alan. I'm the whiskey friend. Been a pleasure as always. I'd love to drink all of these from all of these regions for the rest of my life. Cheers now. See you again soon. Bye bye.